Hello everyone. Correct me if I'm wrong by saying that backend is like the ninja of tech world. You may never actually see it walking on the screen, but without it, everything falls apart. Backend makes sure that your favorite website does not crash when you are trying to buy that last pair of your favorite shoes on a sales day. Like seriously, if the backend was not there, online shopping would be just an empty page with a big 404 not found. So if you are someone looking to learn backend development and still confused about which framework to choose, this video is just for you. Here I am going to tell you top 5 backend framework in 2025. But before we jump in, let's quickly break down what exactly a backend framework is. Essentially, it's a collection of tools and libraries that helps developer build and maintain the backend of a web application. Imagine trying to build a house without a blueprint or a right tools. It would be chaotic, right? A framework gives you that blueprint and the tools to make the process smoother, more efficient and less error prone. So the very first framework we have in our hand is Django. Django is a high-level Python framework known for its rapid development capabilities following an MBT model view template architecture suitable for developing large applications in very little time. Django is like that overachiever in class who always has their homework done. It comes with a ton of built-in features. Why to choose Django? Let's explore its strength to see that. First, scalable. What if in the future you want to expand your website and want to add more users and want to add features in your website? Here comes the code reusability features of Django, making it simpler for developers to adjust expanding traffic on the website. Second, no code framework. There are several packages that programmer can utilize without even writing any code. Third, security. Now, if you're building a web application where user will interact now, of course user will be sending their data. Now, you will make sure that your user's data remains safe. It offers integrated web app security features such as SQL injection, protection, XSS protection, password hashing and more, thereby securing your web application from malicious attacks by hacker. Now, talking about databases. Django works seamlessly with various databases using PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite and Oracle. You may use any of the databases if you want to learn Django. Now let's see the use cases. Django powers some of the biggest websites including Instagram and Pinterest. It is completely perfect for database driven website and is scalable enough to handle millions of users. Let's see the next yet most used framework nowadays. Express.js If you are someone who has mastered JavaScript, then Express.js is just for you. It's a fast, flexible and minimalist web framework for Node.js. It manages routing, error handling and provides an efficient way to build web application and cross-platform mobile apps. Now you must be thinking, what makes Express.js unique? Let's see some of its strength. First, unopinionated. That means Express.js doesn't force you to write code in any fixed panel. You are free to write code according to you. Second, time efficient. Using Express.js, you will realize that in comparison with Node.js, it will take you 8 to 10 less code time, making the overall process a lot faster. Third, easy debugging. Express makes debugging easier as it identifies the exact part where the bugs are, making it easier for the developer to fix that. One more plus point is that if you learn Express, a single language JavaScript is used for both front-end and back-end development and you don't need to switch different languages to learn both. Talking about databases, it is very fast to link Express with databases like MySQL, MongoDB, etc. Lastly, companies like Intuit, Salesforce and many more uses Express for building their web applications. The third framework which is the on my list is ASP.NET Core. I was recently working with this framework and I was amazed by its simplicity and flexibility. It is an open source web framework which uses primarily c -sharp programming language developed by Microsoft for building web application which is optimized to be cross-platform, meaning it can run on various platforms like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Highlighting some of its strengths which follows, first, 
modern architecture. Imagine it like a lunchbox containing only the essential nutrients you require. You can choose the packages you need to which makes your application lighter and more efficient. Second, maintainable and scalable. Due to its modular design, if a specific feature needs to be updated or replaced, you can do that without rewriting the entire application. And if your application grows in complexity, you can easily add new packages to handle complexity. For example, let's say you're building an e-commerce website with ASP.NET Core. You might start with the core MVC packages and then add packages for user authentication, shopping cart and payment processing. As your business grows, you can easily add packages for inventory management, shipping integration and customer relationship. All while keeping your code base organized and manageable. Companies like Stack Overflow, Microsoft, Intuit, etc. uses ASP.NET Core to build its application. So this can be your one of the go-to choices. Now one more powerful backend framework that we are going to discuss is Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails, which scales from Hello World to IPO. It is a full stack framework written in Ruby. Shipped with all the tools needed to build amazing web application on both the front end and back end. So you see, you really don't need to separate framework. Rendering HTML templates, updating databases, sending and receiving emails, maintaining live pages via web sockets, inquiring jobs for asynchronous work, storing uploads in cloud, providing solid security protection for common attack, Rails does it all and so much more. Now let's talk about some of the key features of Ruby on Rails. First, fast development. Following convention over configuration principle, Ruby on Rails helps developer to write less boilerplate code and focus on building features quickly. This framework provides many ready-to-use libraries and plugins that accelerate development. Second, database support. If you know MySQL or SQLite, this framework is for you. Ruby on Rails offers dynamic database support, enabling developer to choose from multiple databases. This flexibility allows top Ruby on Rails developers to pick the databases that suit their need and easily switches between them if necessary. Third, excellent security. Security is something that has been on priority list for everyone. So, Ruby on Rails provides robust security features to protect against common web application attacks, making it a top choice for Rails programmer. ROR has built-in security measures to defend against cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery, ensuring that web applications built with ROR are secure and protect sensitive user data. Surprisingly, GitHub, the largest host of source code globally, is built on Ruby on Rails. Now, my last framework is for Java lovers, which is Spring Boot. Spring Boot is like a fast-track toolkit for building Java applications. Now you may even think of it as express lane on highway of Java development. If you manually set up a new Java project, it would involve you a lot of manual configuration and here comes Spring Boot which eliminates much of that working by providing a set of pre-built templates and configuration. Spring Boot comes with a lot of features which are first, auto configuration. Spring Boot automatically configures your project based on all the dependencies you include, ultimately saving you from a lot of boilerplate code. Third, Embedded Servers Like Tom and Jerry are nearly inseparable, it also comes with embedded servers. So you don't really need to deploy your app to an external server, you can run it in your regular Java application. Third, Production Ready Features Spring Boot includes built-in tools for monitoring, logging, and managing your application, making it easy to move from development to production. As you have seen all the five frameworks, the best part, no matter which one you choose, you are ultimately setting yourself to build a powerful application. Go ahead and start learning. But before leaving, make sure to hit both like and subscribe button for IntelliParts YouTube channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.